if you look at the top players, the top athletes you've ever worked with, are they the ones who were in your program for two months? Or were they in your program for a long period of time? Right? Think about it. How are they going to get better results? Now, over the last couple of years, all right, specifically the last four years, we've uploaded tons of content to our podcast. And now what we want to do is film these. And the reason why I want to film these is because I know I want to keep these, number one, more interactive. And number two, later on in the year, I'm going to be bringing on guests that I interview. And if you're a coach who's gone through our consulting program or you want to be interviewed, you want to share your story, definitely reach out to me. Um, just comment below this video and I'd love to connect with you and have you on our show. All right, with that being said, let's dig straight into today's episode. So today's topic is very simple. All right, we're talking about how to run a year-round personal training business. This is a huge problem that a lot of coaches face especially coaches who are brand new. What they do is they want to start their business in the summer and they'll see a little of success because parents are free in the summer. Kids are more free in the summer. And then when they get to the winter or when they get to the actual season of the sport that they coach, oftentimes parents will have the objection, well, we just don't have enough time right now. And I hear a lot of complaints from coaches. They'll come to me and they'll say, you know what? These parents are telling me their kids don't have time, so they're going to drop out of our program and I have to hit the reset button. Now, the first four years of my business, that happened to me. And I became conditioned to think, well, during the season, no one's going to do that and train in my program. And so what happened was I would have these highs and lows and I'd always have the lows during Christmas. So it'd be between like Thanksgiving, I'd say Thanksgiving, all the way through like February 1st, I'd see a huge drop in my business because that was a period of time where a lot of kids had tournaments, they were really busy, they had a lot of practice, they had a lot of games, and I just thought that was normal, right? But that's because back then, I used to run everything on a month-to-month -month basis, right? And also, parents would pay cash and check. And if you know me by now, like you know that it's not going to work out that way. You need to have a better way of collecting money from parents and you also need to have a higher commitment level, All right? So the way you can go from having these ups and downs in your business to more of a stabilized business where month after month you see growth, All right? The first thing you need to do is you need to have a 12 month program, All right? And how do you do that? Well, First, you need to reverse engineer what does that look like, right? You can't just tell parents you have a 12-month program and not know what you're doing. You need to have a flow of what you're doing every single month, right? And because it's 12 months, that gets parents locked in to training with you over the course of a year. And what happens is when they agree to your 12-month program, that is a priority for them. That means that it doesn't matter if they have practices or games or tournaments going on. They're still going to train with you, right? And that's what we want. We want parents to look at you and your program as the priority, and we want them to look at their team and whatever else they're doing as secondary. And when you frame it that way with parents, they will drop what they're doing to make sure they make it to your sessions, and they'll make sure that they're committed to your program for 12 months. And that's the difference. If I go into it thinking, well, it's, it's soccer season right now, no one's going to want to train with me because they're too busy, well, that's what's going to happen. And parents will easily find a way to get out of my program, and they'll make that excuse. But if I frame it the opposite way, the way I just taught you, where I make sure this is the primary objective for their kid, all right, at that point, again, they're going to want to do this for a long period of time, and they're committed to it. All right? But this is the problem I see. Coaches are afraid to offer 12 month commitments. They don't know what parents are gonna say. They don't think it's gonna work. I will tell you right now, and I could show you screenshot after screenshot. If you go to Instagram and you type in my name and you click on the watch this button, it's a little circle, you'll see over 100 screenshots of coaches who have 
closed on 12 month committed clients. All right? You can see it there. You can see it for yourself. So does it work? Yes. All right? But most coaches are afraid to ask because they don't know what parents are going to say. They've never done it before, so they don't know it's going to work. All right? And what we got to do though is we got to have it structured. Here's what's going to happen over 12 months. We have to have it framed out to where this is the priority for the parents and the player. So they are actually committed to your program. And lastly, you have to have the belief. Like, if you think about it, if you look at the top players, or the top athletes you've ever worked with, are they the ones who were in your program for two months? Or were they in your program for a long period of time? Right? Think about it. How are they going to get better results? Are they going to get better results if they train with you for five sessions? Or if they see you once or twice a week over the course of an entire year? Like, it's not rocket science. You can go back and track back to who's your favorite clients who's gotten the best results. It's always going to be the ones who've been the most committed. Right? And if you think about it, you should set up your whole business in that manner where you only train athletes and clients who are committed to that long. This way, everybody gets the results. That's the whole point, right? If you want your clients to get results, they need to be more committed. Okay? And this is why if you want to run a year-round training business and you don't want to see these ups and downs, then you need to do exactly what I'm saying. Here's what I want you to do next, all right? On this page, there's going to be a button that pops up up here, all right? I want you to click on that button and you're going to get a free tour of our mastermind program. This will break down exactly what we offer, how it works, and it shows results, all right? My program is designed for one thing, is to help you get results. And it's designed to help you create a year-round training program, not this up and down roller coaster type of business, all right? I'm talking about a real sustainable business. And if you wanna see the results of other coaches and you wanna see exactly how our program works, I highly recommend go tap on that button. Um, if you don't do that, you can go to our website at buildmysportsbiz.com and click on Mastermind. And from there, uh, you check it out, you see if it's the right fit for you, and I can guarantee you, if you go to that page, all right, you're gonna see the results, number one, and you're gonna see the gaps that you have within your business. And that's the whole point of that video. I will show you, this is what you could be doing, this is what you're doing now, and this is where you can grow to. All right, so that's it for today's podcast. I'll see you on the next one. I just wanna thank uh, Ben. Um, uh, the best decision I ever made uh, as an entrepreneur I think he's one of the most authentic guys that I've met. He is not, um, he's not out to just make a quick buck. The guy is uh, always available. He, he serves you. He's, a, he's, a, he's available for your needs and he puts his effort and you can tell uh, his effort and passion is helping coaches and building their businesses. So uh, if you're out there looking for uh, a guy or looking for someone to take you to that level, Ben, Ben Neighbors, that's the dude. Go get him. I would tell you to stop thinking about it and just do it. Working with Ben has been by far the best investment I've made, not only in my business, but my life. He has changed my life and my business for the better. And I honestly don't know where I would be without his help. So if you're thinking about it, like I said, don't think about it, just do it because I promise you that he will take you above and beyond what you ever thought was possible.